All right, Mark Dixon here on the Channel 3 Early Warning Forecast Center. Just want to keep you up to date with the very latest involving a severe weather situation. We've got early warning pinpoint Doppler zoomed into southwestern Connecticut, a brand new um, severe thunderstorm warning. This now runs until 4.15. Uh, it is in uh, eastern Fairfield County heading into the New Haven metro area. You can see there uh, very heavy rain as indicated by those deep shades of red. Even some purple showing up indicating that we do have the possibility for some hail. We've had reports out of Stanford of hail cover the ground there. Uh, numerous reports of hail, in fact, coming in from uh, different portions of the state. But a little bit closer inspection to the very worst of what's happening over Stratford right now, just clearing Bridgeport. This particular line is moving to the east at around 35 to 40 miles an hour. So it is a it is a fast moving line and it is going to continue heading toward the east. And with it, we can expect heavy rain that is going to uh, reduce visibility. It is also uh, going to in include that possibility of hail. Also, frequent lightning and as well wind gusts to around 60 miles an hour. So again, we're looking at this right now um, around Stratford, certainly impacting travel along 95, the uh, the Merritt Parkway, and then also up Route 8. So uh, we'll kind of broaden this view out for you, show you the uh, severe thunderstorm warning that we have as it is uh, fairly large. It does uh, go into uh, Middlesex County as well. So we're talking about from Waterbury South uh, through Seymour and Ansonia and Shelton to Stratford. This is heading toward the east again at 40 miles an hour. Uh, so this is going to be heading into Meriden, Wallingford, Hamden, New Haven, West Haven, but before that heading into uh, into Milford. So we'll do a storm track on this for you, show you uh, again the leading edge of this is heading uh, toward the east at around 40 miles an hour. So on that trajectory, Milford, it's moving in right now. Uh, Woodbridge by 329 um, for say Cheshire around 330. Uh, West Haven 336, New Haven 338. So again, this is fairly fast moving. It's going to be in the, into New Haven and about 10 minutes from now, current time is 328. So again, a severe thunderstorm warning has been issued for parts of uh, southeastern Fairfield County, much of New Haven County, and as well into portions of Middlesex County. Uh, and this runs until 415. So this line again is moving to the east and doing so at a pretty rapid rate is around 40 to 45 miles an hour. With this, we could get some P to quarter size hail, also wind gust to around 60 miles an hour. So uh, that is the current situation with regard to the uh, severe thunderstorm warning that we have right now. But do want to clear this off and just take you onto a statewide perspective because other parts of the state are certainly getting some heavy rain. We'll take you in around Hartford right now. Non severe. Uh, we do have you know, those those yellows and oranges and some reds popping up in around Hartford, especially across a West Hartford Bloomfield up Route 44 through Avon to Canton also westward uh, route four there through Farmington uh, also around Plainville and Southington we've got heavy rain that's currently ongoing but non-severe and no lightning associated with this rain right now and into a eastern Connecticut you can also see that we do have uh, some moderately heavy rain down 395 not quite as intense as what's uh, currently across uh, the Hartford metro area or nowhere near the intensity of what's going down in, into uh, southwestern Connecticut heading toward New Haven so Plainfield Griswold Lisbon Terryville Norwich Gales Ferry. This is all going to be clearing and moving into Rhode Island. But what is happening across uh, the western half of the state is going to continue moving toward the east. So again, uh, as we look at early warning pinpoint Doppler, put this into motion for you. Uh, and this is a 15 minute loop. So again, showing the rapid progression of this line uh, as it heads toward the east at around 40 to 45 miles an hour. So if you're, uh, say, Hartford South along 91 and then even points east from there over the next uh, 20 to 30 minutes, a heads up an early warning that we are tracking this line of storm that could produce wind gusts around 60 miles an hour and anywhere from P to quarter size hail. Uh, the, the heavy nature of the rain will also be leading to poor visibility. Uh, this is obviously a, a situation that we're living in now where there's not a whole lot of volume on area roadways. So if there's any silver lining, there is that. But uh, uh, we are tracking this line as it's again heading toward uh, 91 and the Wilbur Cross Parkway. So it's a little bit closer looking here again. Uh, this, this particular severe thunderstorm warning does include Cromwell and Middletown, also Durham, Haddam. Killingworth and uh, say through Guilford, Madison and right there to the border with Clinton. So this is going to impact those of you along the 95 corridor route one along the Connecticut shoreline uh, and as it's going to continue working into say Meriden, Wallingford and Hamden uh, making its way into Milford currently and as well into West Haven and then New Haven. Uh, so speaking of New Haven, I want to take you in. We can show you um, 
what's happening in the in the Elm City currently. A little bit closer look here with our ICANN view, uh, showing uh, the heavy rain just now beginning to fall in New Haven. So the visibility is going to come down in New Haven as that heavy rain continues to to work into the uh, into the uh, into the city. So a little bit wider view here. The severe thunderstorm watch. We're kind of on the northern extent of this threat. Uh, we've seen numerous warnings to the southwest of Connecticut over the past several hours, uh, but this is all in association or in advance of a cold front that's going to be moving through the state. And then behind it, the wind's going to be picking up statewide, unrelated to thunderstorms uh, out of the west northwest. Uh, could gust 40 to 50 miles an hour later on this evening. And that wind direction is also going to be filtering chillier air into the state. So uh, the impact, again, that we can expect with a lot of these storms as they uh, develop and move across the state. Heavy rain, wind gusts, again, 50 to 60 miles an hour, some frequent lightning, and the potentials there also for that hail that could be uh, to the size of quarters. So another look here at early warning pinpoint Doppler showing this uh, intense line is moving um, toward the east. It is about to clear now the Route 8 corridor from Waterbury to Bridgeport, but uh, certainly moving into Milford right now and soon into the New Haven metro area. So I want to take you in for the uh, the latest look here, a little bit closer inspection here, especially where we see these deep purples that are showing up in around Milford, because this is where we're likely seeing the, the greatest threat or potential for some larger hail. So from, uh, say, Silver Beach northward, uh, Ford Street, um, and around, uh, well, all around Milford now, Hill Street, uh, Meadowside Road, um, Fort Trumbull right there along Broadway, uh, expecting some very heavy rain and as well that potential for hail. Uh, but it's, it's quick moving, so this is going to be making its way uh, soon into uh, West Haven and then New Haven. So uh, I'll do a storm track on this for you, broaden the view just a bit to encompass a, a few more towns. Uh, slide the map here to the west so we can get a better projection here on how these storms are moving. Uh, again, as we uh, draw the line here and then uh, we'll take it over land, uh, east at around, uh, now this is, this is even, uh, I'll have to broaden the view out a little bit to get the speed here to go up to 40, 40 miles an hour toward the east. So you can, again, you can see the, the fast progression here puts it in, in New Haven here uh, in just about six minutes from now, at least the worst of it. Uh, Branford 349, uh, Guilford 4 o'clock, and then a little bit thereafter, 405, 408, uh, and around Madison and also into Killingworth. So uh, again, we have a severe thunderstorm warning. This is in effect for uh, portions of uh, southeastern Fairfield County, a chunk of New Haven County, and as well as into a, a good chunk of a Middlesex County. And this runs until 415 uh, this afternoon. So uh, again, statewide perspective, just want to kind of again show you what's happening here clear this off. The, the storm that uh, we're tracking closely, the one that has the warning on it, is working uh, through New Haven County, just clearing the Route 8 corridor, moving toward 91 on the Wilbur Cross, and then eventually heading uh, toward Route 9 southeast of uh, Middletown, or Middletown Point south from there uh, toward the shoreline. So in around the Hartford area, if you're tuning in, you're hearing some, uh, some heavy rain moving overhead, uh, and that is basically, that's it. Uh, a little lightning now popping up to the west of Farmington to the north of Bristol. Uh, so we'll be watching this, but non-severe as of the current time. Again, putting this into motion over the last uh, 15 minutes, you see that uh, band of heavy rain working into the greater Hartford area. So West Hartford, Farmington, Weathersfield about to receive some heavy rain from this. Uh, and then uh, this is going to then soon be shifting east of 91, impacting uh, uh, 84, 384 as it continues moving toward the east. So uh, we'll continue to bring you updates as warranted uh, this afternoon. But again, a severe thunderstorm warning remains in effect. And until 4:15 uh, for New Haven and uh, Middlesex counties. Uh, again, more updates as warranted. In the meantime, we'll get you back to Dr. Oz already in progress. Thank you. Thank you.